to you. And so today what I have for you is a top 10 kind of tips. They're very general tips. Uh, they're kind of just, as you seriously got the game and you just plugged it into, or just plugged it in, just put the disc into the uh, console. And this is kind of just what I'd tell you to do, honestly. So, uh, okay. So first off, I'd say don't hop into multiplayer. Don't just jump into multiplayer. I think that is honestly the worst thing you can do because you're going to jump in and everyone else is going to be up playing for a really long time and you're just going to get dominated. You are going to suck so bad. I'm sorry, but I'm being brutally honest. You are going to be terrible. So what I suggest instead is hopping on to survival. Uh, you'll actually learn kind of the movements just playing in survival. And uh, it'll kind of just teach you uh, very minor things that could help you out in multiplayer. Okay, so tip number two is as soon as you play are done playing a game of survival, play TDM first. TDM, very easy. Very laid back, very easy game mode. I, if I ever want, if I ever am like feeling like I can't get any kills or anything, I always just go to TDM and I, TDM is just easy. I don't know why, but in this game, I feel like just more people play TDM, so a lot of the newer players are on there, so then you're going to be more with your, uh, with your skill level, but, uh, okay, so tip number three is try different combinations of the exo movements, so what I mean by this is try double jumping, boost slamming, then dashing right, try doing different stuff like that, try jumping, dashing forward and double jumping. Try different stuff like that. It really helps out a lot, honestly, because it makes, if you try different combinations and you find one that you really like, it's gonna make it harder for the enemies to track you and to actually kill you. So, uh, okay, tip number four. Find a comfortable sensitivity. This is big. I played Ghost, so, and in Ghost, I was a 16. I used a 16 sensitivity, and I was comfortable with it. But as soon as I hopped on this, I'm like, oh, yeah, they have the same pick 20 system. I'll be fine. Yeah, no, I wasn't. Um, I needed to end up going to a 4, and now I'm at a 5 for ARs and a 10 for sniping. Um, honestly, in this game, you need more control because of the fact that everyone's double jumping, boost jumping. Everyone's basically flying off the walls, and they're just everywhere. So you need to be able to make those minor adjustments, but you also don't want to overdo those because, yeah. But <laughs> okay, tip number five is speed reloading. Okay, if you guys didn't know this, if you double tap the reloading button, what it does is it makes it so you reload faster, but you lose all of the ammo that's in your clip. So it can be very useful, but don't use it all the time because you'll run out of ammo, and that would be bad because you'll have no ammo. But, uh, okay, so number six is, this is kind of just a general Call of Duty one, but uh, if you're looking on the minimap, where teammates aren't, that's where the enemies are. It's pretty basic, but it actually helps me out a lot, and that's how I can get really good gameplays and I can get high kills because I go to where th my teammates aren't but you also have to be skilled enough where you can take on a couple enemies at a time so uh okay number seven is sell items for XP so if you go into your armory uh, and say you get an elite version of the AMR9 which is by far the worst gun and you don't like it you're like hey this is crap so I'm gonna go sell it so when you sell an elite weapon or elite gear, you get 2,000 XP. That's actually quite a bit and can help you a lot. So like if you're if you're like me and like while you're playing, you'll be like 100 XP away from leveling up at the end of your game. You can go into your armory. Oh, I hate this helmet. It's ugly. Okay, sell it. And then you and then you level up and you can be getting your new perk or your new gun that you wanted because you need one more level before you got the IMR and you really wanted the IMR for the next game and so you can just sell an item and it's really helpful. Uh, okay, and this one's a sniping tip. 
don't use the regular sniper rifle or a sniper rifle. It's not, it's not as accurate as it should be. What it does is, when you're aiming down sights on the crosshairs, it actually has, it actually goes to the bottom right hand corner instead of right in the middle of the crosshairs like it should. So I suggest using variable zoom or uh, thermal sight. Okay, uh, tip number nine is use support. If you use support, it helps a lot and you're more likely to get your kill tree. But the thing with this game, not every kill tree has a support function on it. So there's only four. It's the recon drone, the UAV, the care package, and the sentry gun. Excuse me, those are the only guns that actually do have the uh, the support function, which is very helpful. And I promise you, you guys really, really should use it. It's really helpful. But uh, okay, then my last tip is it's kind of just a basic or. I wouldn't say basic, but I can't really, I don't know. Okay, this is this is just the biggest tip. Okay, try to slow it down. What you want to do is you want to make it, you want to try and slow the game down so you're not rushing in everywhere. Because this is a very fast paced game, and if you're just rushing everywhere, you're going to die. There's nothing you can do about it, you will die. And you need to kind of understand that if you, like, Hey, if I were to not just run into that room with four other people in it, maybe I wouldn't have died. Okay, so you need to kind of think about it and just try to slow the game down. That's also just a survival tip. Uh, if you're wanting to get those high kill streaks like a Paladin, you're going to want to slow the game down and just be more cautious. And that's kind of just a tip for all of this, honestly. But... Uh, I mean, you're just gonna want to be more cautious with your, uh, just with your game. You don't want to rush in and just die every, like, ten seconds. You want to slow it down and be more careful, especially if you're going for the Paladin or you're going for a high kill game. So, yeah, those are my, uh, top ten, uh, tips for top ten kind of first glimpse at the game tips. I don't know what to call it, but uh, yeah, so if you guys liked this video or found any of these tips useful, please leave a like, it helps me out a lot, and please comment if you guys have any of your own tips that I kind of, that I may have not known or I didn't say, but uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, please like and subscribe, thanks guys.